Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. I have a rather large fabric haul here. I'm sure you're all dying to see. So stick around and we'll get through these. If we haven't met yet, my name is Kristen. This is the Dally Society where I love talking about anything to do with sewing, fabric, patterns, and gardening as well. I'm a really keen gardener. I love growing dahlias in the summer and autumn time. And we're heading into spring here. We're already in spring. This is a beautiful 21 degree day here in Melbourne, but the weather is about to turn nasty tomorrow. So I thought while the sun is still lingering around, there's no wind, I'm going to show you underneath my beautiful flowering cherry tree in the background there. It's putting on a real show. I've got quite a large amount of fabrics. Um, most of you know I did spend a lot of last month recovering from surgery. So I'd spent a lot of time fabric shopping and I was rather naughty. But look, most people will agree it's another hobby altogether. Sewing's one hobby, fabric collecting, fabric stroking is another one. So another thing I must remember because I always forget to tell everyone what I'm wearing at the start and I have to end up doing it at the end. I'm wearing the wonderful Pattern Emporium Flawsome Top. I made a couple of dresses in this pattern as well. This is the top version. This was a really well received pattern. A lot of you guys loved the dresses. This is the top version. Of course, it's great to sort of throw on with a pair of pleats to meet you pants, which I'm wearing in the bottom or a pair of jeans. So I love wearing mine and don't mind the old regrowth happening. Of course, we're all stuck in lockdown. We're still waiting to get our hair done, but you know what? The world still keeps turning. We will get through another day with a bit of regrowth and I'm looking forward to getting my hair done by one of my besties. Uh, yeah, we just have to wait till we can see each other again soon. So let's get cracking on these fabrics. Now, some of these I have plans for and a lot of them I don't, but I have purchased a lot of them with kind of a bit of an idea in mind, um, which will give me a bit of inspiration. So firstly, I went shopping online at the cloth shop in Ivanhoe. Fantastic service, very, very fast delivery and a beautiful, beautiful range of fabrics. So this first one is a gorgeous rayon print very spring summer i think this colorway is just gorgeous and it's a lovely fluid fabric it's got the gorgeous sort of buttery yellow color and the white and i just think this is going to look really pretty and the pattern that i have already picked out for this is the bell dress by starlight a brand new pattern have a look at that beautiful drape i just think that's it's going to look gorgeous with some kind of pearl colored buttons and that kind of vintage almost 40s looking it's a nod to the 40s. I wouldn't say it's thoroughly a 40s pattern, but I love the fact it's got an elastic um, back waist, so there's not too much fitting. So although I do love a good shirt dress, and I've told a lot of you guys I'm after a good shirt dress pattern, I don't want an overly fitted shirt dress pattern. I want something that I can cinch in the waist if I want or have it sort of comfortable and loose. So having that kind of thing you can adapt is really handy. So I love, love that fabric. It's really pretty. And I think it was only like $14.95 a meter, which is really reasonable too. So great colors. And I can just see that with a pair of um, white sandals, some strappy kind of cork wedge sandals. And I think that's going to come up really lovely. Other fabric I purchased from the cloth shop at Ivanhoe was this beautiful cotton jersey. Have a look at the colors in that. What a beautiful, bright colorway that is in the florals. Just have a look at that. I just think it's just stunning and I always love a black floral. I'm always attracted to it, but I think that is going to look gorgeous in a dress. The Miri dress, I love that kind of faux wrap style dress. Um, might look really lovely as well. So isn't it beautiful with the butterflies and all the greenery? And it's a nice, really soft quality cotton jersey as well. But yeah, really, really soft and really uh, adaptable. Had a little bit of drape as well. So there's also another Sinclair pattern I love the look of with a diagonal skirt hem. That could be another contender for that as well. But it's too nice to just have as a top. I think it has to be some kind of dress for spring and summer. But beautiful. So great service. Um, I'll link all these fabrics below. If they're still online there, I'll do my best to link them so you guys can go ahead and have a look. Next, I can't resist a bargain from Spotlight. And I think this was when they had a lot of their, uh, I think it was 40% off all of their range of fabrics. So I love a seersucker for sort of heading into summer time. So I think this looks very spring summer like. And that 
is yeah a gorgeous cotton seersucker but look at that beautiful I'm, I'm really leaning towards a lot of the mustard and yellows i must say i'm um, just it makes me feel bright and sunny um but it's got a gorgeous texture up close i'll show you but look at that it's got like a bubbly texture not sure if it's picking up on the camera there but uh a really lovely comfortable cool looking cotton fabric i think will look really pretty uh, the pattern that I have been eyeing off is a new pattern uh, from a new pattern design. I think it's called By Kate. And it's got a statement puff sleeve, but a very straight kind of skirt with a little bit of a split in the front. And I think that would look beautiful because it will hold that shape of that puff sleeve, quite dramatic sleeve. So that's a really, really pretty pattern. I think will uh, lend itself very nicely to that. Um, I think there's 2.5 metres of this. Um, but yeah, they do have a couple of um, other colourways in it, more of a vintage pastel colourway as well. It might be three colourways, but I just love that navy background, dark blue background with the, with the yellow. I think it really pops out, so very excited to make that one. Again, from Spotlight, just a lovely soft rayon, a sage colour print with a sort of autumnal colourway through it. Um, that one I'm thinking about making the Helen's Closet March blouse. I just think it'll look really lovely in that and nice and soft and drapey. Um, yet yeah, it's kind of got a vintage color, vintage uh, illustration through it, gerberas and the little autumn leaves. So I think, um, yeah, Spotlight's rayons are really, really good quality. They always wash up really nicely as well. If you can get yourself a bargain on there, sometimes it's great when they do have their sales. I know at the moment they do have a 40% off voucher if you buy a full priced item, but sometimes that's when they have all their sale items, so it's hard to sort of find something that's full price, so you can have a bit of trouble there. But if you can find something full price to get 40% off, it's a great bargain. But yeah, these were 40% off at the time, and I love their rounds. The third spotlight fabric I purchased was one I've been eyeing off for quite some time. It's a beautiful lilac color vintage cotton linen lovely quality and it's just some really kind of antique roses cotton linen really is lovely to wear through the warmer months here and that one i'm thinking of some kind of puff sleeve blouse i was even thinking at a helen's closet march might look really nice in the blouse with the straight kind of bottom on it that's another another thought or even just a classic style shirt blouse. Now I had even thought that brand new pattern from Peppermint Magazine, the Paddington top would look quite lovely in that with that puff sleeve and the button, self-covered button back uh, would look really pretty too. So there's a couple of options there for some tops. I think it'll, uh, yeah, I'm a real sucker for this um, pastel lilac color. It's a really, really pretty, especially with the pink, really lovely fabric. Now the lovely Cherie from Fabric Hunt has actually sent me some gorgeous Mind the Maker Solanic Organic Knit. Now this is a gorgeous self-stripe chestnut colour fabric. It's like almost like a ribbed feel to it and I tell you the quality in this is just beautiful. So there is another colourway, there's a mustard colourway in this as well but I've gone for the chestnut colour and I think it'll make a beautiful either a knit dress or maybe a waterfall style drapey cardigan. There is a Sinclair pattern, I think it's the candy cardigan which would look beautiful in that as well. So I'll show you that fabric up close. Really lovely colour, deep deep chestnut colour, lovely weight. It's quite weighty for a rib knit. It's not light and it's not going to sort of shrivel up and shrink when you wash it. It does have a really nice sort of density to it. Uh, and being organic cotton, it's just going to wash and wear beautiful too. So thank you so much to Cherie for sending me that. Just a beautiful cut of fabric. And your mind the maker is always high quality always beautiful to wear the next two fabrics i've got are really heading into those kind of spring buzzing around here spring summer kind of vibes and they almost remind me of that kind of palazzo um i don't know french riviera kind of color theme i'm loving the brights at the moment i'm loving a lot of gold mustard with a navy and this cotton lawn fabric was from darn cheap fabrics it's got a beautiful scene on it lovely weight cotton lawn fabric have a look at that colors are magnificent in that i just think they're really really retro kind of vibes i'll show you the picture on the scene on the front of it you can see it all but it has got a lot of nice drape to it as well and i love the pink the bright pink with the golds and a bit of splash of red as well now that one is going to be a shirt dress one of the many ones i have picked out 
I've actually ordered quite a few shirt dress patterns after speaking to a lot of you guys. You all give me great suggestions on what your favorite shirt dresses are. So I'm thinking definitely a shirt dress would look stunning in that. Maybe even the Rita shirt dress would look really nice. Or maybe even a wrap style dress uh, could look nice. As long as it's got either an A-line or a kind of a straight fitted skirt. It's definitely, I think, being cotton lawn, I don't want to have too much gathering because it can add quite a bit of bulk it needs to be more of a streamlined kind of dress so i actually even love the ava dress from pattern scout it's just a nice straight streamlined dress with a faux wrap top and this was so popular i think they advertised it on instagram and it sold out really quickly but i think they did get more back in again so a really great price as well darn cheap fabrics have some fantastic really bright vibrant prints in there so definitely have a look at their online store of course they're offering click and collect from their three locations here in melbourne as well at the moment Going with that whole French Riviera style colour theme, I thought this beautiful linen tensile fabric would be a stunning dress. This is from Draper's Fabric and Draper's Fabric has got a, a store here in Fitzroy in Melbourne and also in New Zealand so you can order online from them too. But what a beautiful, bright, vibrant colourway here. And I'm thinking a lovely dress. Um, I did see uh, Alex Judge made a gorgeous pattern, fantastic uh, Varley dress in a stripe. So I'm thinking about just copying that all together because I just think it's uh, magnificent uh, to have that stripe together in that dress really, really sets it off. There's also another Berta style dress. I've seen them use the, uh, the stripes in a really, really different way, having some going down, some going across. So I'm going to have a play with the stripe. I think it'll make a beautiful dress for heading into spring and summer and a lovely amount of drape in that too so it's not a really crisp kind of linen it has got that nice soft uh, really soft so I think uh, it's perfect I was really hoping it would be soft and drapey and it really is so how beautiful all the colors in that I just love that so I think even a nice little uh, denim jacket over it would be gorgeous or even a white little cropped linen jacket it's another thing I'm thinking about making to go back with all these brightly colored things yeah so there's quite a bit to think about there but really lovely bright colored fabrics make you sort of feel more cheerful and they really make you feel like spring is definitely on the way here in Australia another fabric I got from Drapers was a beautiful olive colorway linen this is definitely more of a linen blend um, a bit more sturdy than that tensile but I love that I want to definitely make a tunic style shirt dress so either I'm thinking Savannah shirt dress or maybe um, there is a gorgeous uh, McCall's shirt dress, the Josie. I think that Polly from the Sewing Edit uh, really sold me on that. It looks beautiful on her, so that's what I'm thinking about making too. But I love that kind of vintage look. It's got the palms on it, but it's got that kind of washed vintage uh, effect to the, the fabric, that washed colorway. Really, really nice and soft. And definitely will de go back in my wardrobe with lots of things. So even that chestnut color knit from... Um, from Fabric Hunt would look beautiful with that too. So couldn't resist that. And I think a little uh, wooden button would just really set that off lovely as well. So that's another Draper's Fabric. Another Draper's Fabric I did pick up. Uh, I couldn't resist this gorgeous boucle they had. It is just stunning fabric. It's got a lovely kind of a glittery weave through it. It's got like a kind of a purpley bluey flick through it. I'll show you up close. And it's not a really, really thick, um, boucle fabric it's I'll show you the weight of it it's kind of in between so it'll be a really nice little kind of Chanel style jacket over a white crisp shirt and some jeans so it's a lovely blend it's not too thick you can see there the uh, the thickness of it but it's really nice with kind of a binding like a rope binding as well but being in lockdown that kind of thing's really hard to find online and when you do it's hard to see the thickness of it and the color match so not sure whether I'll do the binding but I think a lovely little crop jacket even the mallard jacket from the sewing revival I've made one of those last year in a crop style would look lovely you can do a rounded collar on that too or even no collar so yeah some kind of crop jacket I just think will be perfect with that so there's a lot of really nice style crop jackets something with a, maybe a three-quarter sleeve would be really nice too heading into spring um, but yeah love the color it's I think it's called licorice a licorice colorway it's almost a blue black so really really pretty but the lining i was actually tempted to use a lining that i bought from the fabric store online it's a hummingbird lining it's just so pretty so the hummingbird fabric i picked up was from fabric store online they do have a lot of really exquisite uh lining something really really different that is absolutely beautiful and you can see the uh gorgeous artwork there on the fabric uh that really really pretty mauve and pink i think 
may even look really nice as a lining for that. I mean, there's a lot of pattern going on there, but it could possibly look really good. The other thing could be a really, really nice, maybe a hot pink linen jacket or a mauve or even a black would look really nice with that lining underneath. I just couldn't resist that lining. I love hummingbirds and it's just really, really pretty and lovely quality lining from them too. So yeah, not sure if I'll use it together, but what a statement that would make together if you had that pop of lining underneath there or even maybe a plain silver kind of or lilac colored lining would look great too. So I uh, love that. I've got kind of Chanel style little gold buttons. Uh, I bought them from the cloth edit from Gabrielle. She has a beautiful range of buttons there. Um, I think it'll look really lovely. So they are my latest fabrics. I also have a quite large uh, bundle of fabric remnants that I purchased from Pit Trading quite some weeks ago now. A lot of different remnants, different sizes, mainly knit fabrics as well, which I'll go through. That is a whole separate episode as well because I love having remnants there on hand, especially for when brand new patterns are released, especially for our Pattern Emporium. Uh, when they do release, when Kate releases a new pattern, does it rather quickly. I love to have something there like a makeup, um, some remnants, and either some tops or dresses there too. So I find knits are a lot harder to buy online a lot harder to source something a bit different and a bit more unique whereas wovens they are there's quite a bit more variety as far as prints uh, fabric compositions go there too so yeah that's my fabric for now so a few little plans there a few little bits of fabric definitely enough to get me through plus what I've already got there in that stash which is ever growing but I'm sure that most of you can sympathize there that it is uh, very hard when you see a fabric that you know you can make something beautiful with and if you pass it by it does tend to haunt you so <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed that and if you have enjoyed it i would really appreciate a thumbs up i also want to say a huge thank you to all the wonderful generous people that are purchasing coffees for me every week there is someone um sending me a beautiful message just uh that they are finding it the channel inspiring them it's helping them get through whatever it is they're getting through or maybe it's a lockdown and they're finding they need inspiration so uh, i really appreciate every one of those coffee uh, donations and if you don't know what coffee is coffee is a, a website that people can buy a virtual coffee for a creator that will help them and bring it new and more content for the viewer if you haven't subscribed i would really appreciate that too because that helps other people find my channel and hit the notification bell to be alerted to any new episodes that come out. Take care, happy sewing and happy fabric buying. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.